Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Get On With It Master of Orion 2. Last time was a clusterfuck of three parts that I'm going to have to fuse together, so... If I recall correctly, I took care of the Elkarians. I have made some tech... Some nifty, super cool tech thefts from the Silicoids. And I'm in the process of researching auto labs. And have an immensely fun time with... Out teching. Well, everybody. Although, you know, the Cylons are creative, and of course that's going to be an annoying pain in the ass. I still haven't met the Trilarians or the Illarians. I presume they're somewhere up there. Makes sense, right? I have an immense slice of the galaxy for us having eight players on this map, and the, uh, the Sakra are doing pretty nice for themselves, too, despite being tucked away in that corner there. Now, there are still some star systems here that have not yet been colonized. I should uh, make a note of checking out available planets near me, though. Like, available planets that haven't been colonized, uh, that I haven't, like, queued up colony bases for, and maybe, you know, send some ships there to colonize them, so we can go to Thoth there, and we can go to... Catheria. Let's go ahead and check out mineral sorting instead. So Thoth will be good. Heavy gravity, I can take care of that. And ultra rich there. Are you kidding me? That would be absolutely beautiful. And then we can colonize that one too. And we can go ahead and colonize that one as well. So let's go ahead and build up three colony ships. We will of course do this for my... from somewhere. We will do this from somewhere. Actually, I like from here. We have a mineral-rich system here. And, you know, they're in the process of building housing. They have more population than Fakar here. And they don't have anything else to do, so... Go ahead and have them build three colony ships. That should be fine. And I will send them out to various places as needed. I don't think I have an ultra-rich planet that's good for me to use right now. Notice how I uh, clarified that as good for me to use right now. In the future, who knows what that could be, but for now, eh. 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 <laughs> okay. So again, I am hoarding my money, like a money hoarder. Makes me a terrible person, I'm sure. But I just, you know, I don't want to get off it. It's my cash. It's my loot. I'm not used to having it. I want to huggle it. You know, I want to take it to my grave with me. That was unnecessarily redundant. I don't necessarily care, but, hmm. Somebody needs to arrive on that planet soon. There we go. I blew through that cash. Problem solved. <laughs> and remember, that's a zero tax rate. Very nice. That looks like progress to me. Gravity generator is done here. What do you have left to build? I don't think we, uh... We need to terraform you again. For you are an ocean planet. Therefore, just go to housing. Alright. Freighter fleets are continuing which means that I have more and more freighters available to do all the things I want them to do. If that made sense. And I am overflowing a lot of production, I know. So if I take off all of you guys... And... Okay, I'm still short a few freighters. Let's go ahead and have a few a food excess there, though. And... There we go, they'll take care of that problem for now. Keep building freighters! For justice! Freighters for justice. Sooner than you think. Or, more possible than you think. Or, okay, that works. Moving on. Oh man, this track. You guys haven't figured it out now by checking the video des description. They're all remixes from a certain 
game. Indeed. And I remember the original track and how haunting it was. And we get another freighter fleet. I should be good to go. I should be able to completely uh, just rely on my home system for supplying food to the entirety of my empire. Workers in the Trillarian Empire discovered a... Ooh. That's cool for the Trillarians. Way to go, guys. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. What are we doing here? This is a large, arid world. We could use some more terraforming. Uh... Where was I building my colony ships? Here. Let's speed that up a bit. Please. With cherries and whipped cream, please. Fan... Fantastic. All of you do me proud. I know I'm not tacking a whole lot. It's true. The auto labs will help me take care of that, though, but I'm just... I just want to continue to build up my infrastructure. And there we go. There's the auto labs. Now, where do we go from here? Weather control system. I guess it's a good thing I didn't trade for that, as it's on my... No. Oh. Sod it. I forgot that other thing that I was thinking about researching. I got robotic factories here, as well as core waste dumps and advanced city planning. Well, that sounds like something I want to I wanna get. Let's go after that, then. Zack 2 has finished doing what I asked for it to do. We have ourselves a desert planet here. You know what we need? We need an auto lab. Then you can go back to terraforming. As a matter of fact, Everybody needs an auto lab. Auto labs are fun for the whole family. True story. I don't care what you were about to build. You're building an auto lab instead. Well, in only a few cases. Okay, let's not get carried away here. Auto labs for everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. You will have an auto lab, and you will have it now. You will eat your auto lab, and you will like it. <laughs> That's right. Three doses of auto lab every day. What else? I don't care about inefficiency. All I care about is getting those auto labs out quickly. And we need to build one of those too. And some of that, some of that goodness, we need to get it in our lives. Auto lab, get to work producing things so you can produce more population. The sole express purpose of annoying me, so I have to constantly micro you. You're not doing a good enough job at annoying me. Die harder. <laughs> Now we... Auto Lab will be behind a bit there, but we have more important things to build. Auto Lab? <laughs> Every time I say that, I keep thinking of Optimus Prime. Autobots! <laughs> uh... Do that, and that takes care of everything that I need to take care of, I do believe. Fantastic. I know you are excited that I walked you through that one that time. Okay. I might have to stop, uh, microing my planet so, uh, extremely now. It is kind of tiring. It does take a lot of time. I am so glad I have the hacks that allow me to travel quickly through space and time now. So glad. Oh, so glad. Spy against Silicoi was lost. No elementary Larian empires are now at war. Eh. I guess that was the part where I was supposed to care, right? Yeah. If only I could just, like, auto-set these planets not to bother with, uh, farming. That would really be nice. If I could just have them ignore that stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. We do have an armor barracks. Phew, let's get some robo miners. 
I do wish to colonize the pre-selected planet. It has just been colonized, and I am... They are awaiting my orders. Well, in that case... Automated factory... Pollution processor... Gravity generator... Research lab... Marine barracks... Auto lab... Radiation shield. I probably could have done that much quicker than I did, but... Eh. Alright, you finished with Housing Advance Bin 2nd Edition. Fantastic. Now you can just build spies in your spare time. And research. Stuff is finished. Excellent. Oh, I have another colony ship and I forgot to send it out. Oops. Go there. Spread across the galaxy, my minions! We need more power! Needs more power. Hmm. Songs. Interesting. <laughs> Keep working on housing. I didn't say you could stop. You! You're doing a good job. I'm proud of you. Let's go ahead and have another guy work on food. Just for giggles. Robo Miners is done. I don't know whether I want to tell all my guys to take care of that just yet right now, though. That would, like, take time. Not sure I want to invest the time right now to micro my planets that much. I will colonize a pre-selected planet. And automated factory, pollution processor, gravity generator, marine barracks, research, auto lab, radiation shield. Woohoo, another freighter fleet. Mm, although I could spend my money on that, I instead... I can't speed purchase that. I can speed purchase that. And... That. Leonids. Which I... I read as Leonidas. <laughs> Spartans! What is your profession? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally cool today, guys. I swear. There's nothing wrong with me. Promise. Pinky swear. Just trying to engage my brain while being... While drowning in all of this. Hold on, help me. Help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Sorry. I think sometimes I get the impression that I'm actually playing these games by myself, so I can afford to do whatever I want, like say whatever I want, which is how I normally interact with myself whenever I play games, and that is not the case. Search lab. Auto lab. It feels like I'm missing something. Oh, a gravity generator. I guess I don't have a gravity problem on this planet. Well, that's cool. I guess you can come back to me after that, then. We'll be fine. So Brixia 2 is finished building a freighter fleet. Oh my science. You're not done yet, though. More freighters. More freighters! <laughs> um... Goodness. Uh, how many more of those are you going to build? Just one? I do think I need another one. I think, I think, I think. So, I should take care of that. And let's go ahead and speed purchase that. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at the system. Yeah, I need two more. So that'll be fine. I have christened a new ship, the Colony Ship. And you are done building Colony Ships for me. I guess you can build Robo Miner Plant. I guess. I mean, not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just feeling pretty slothful with, uh, microing my planets that much. <laughs> I guess you should build it too. Sigh. 
who else? You should get in on that as well. I mean, it does give, you know, it does generate 10 production. You know, it's not a joke. I should consider getting in on that. Could be useful to have. All these planets producing housing. We can go ahead and throw in a robo miner plant. And that terraforming thing is going to constantly mess with my head. That radiation shield. Even though it's an ocean planet, I'm tempted to do it just so it doesn't keep popping up and messing with my head. I hate it when things mess with my head. It's not very nice. <laughs> Fast missile racks. Titan construction next. Fantastic. I can now, I will eventually be able to build bigger ships. And I will enjoy it. Profusely. Are you done with population? You are not. Get to work making the houses for the babies. Damn it. I didn't say you could stop. <laughs> Nobody stops. This continues forever. <laughs> Lots of stuff finished. And I noticed that since my food went up, planets are farming where they're not supposed to be farming. I'm not naming any names. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, micro. How you vex me. It's okay. I'll get over it. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to constantly bother with it. I'm just going to click through a bunch of turns. And eventually everything will be okay, and we have another high council vote here. Once again, we are in this situation, although somebody did vote for me. The Lolums. You know, I haven't talked to people for a while. I should consider doing that. I will abstain, since I would not be able to win. But I do not feel like work uh, voting for my opponent. Titan construction is mine already. Automated repair unit next. Excellent. Excellent. Kato. <laughs> Liu Kang. Ah! Too many people to reassign! I am drowning in new populace. Drowning! Here! Eventually, I'm going to have to let them do that. My home system can support everybody in the galaxy. Can it? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no, but I can certainly try. More stuff is finished. Even more stuff is finished. Stuff for everybody. You have finished building spies. Because I totally wanted you to do that, I'm sure. Just screw it. Let's build trade goods. Cybrixia 2 has finished its freighter fleets. Ah. Ah. Trade goods. Never bother me again! I think I have enough spies now. <laughs> but I guess these guys just want to be farmers. It's like playing King of Dragon Pass again. I want to hunt, damn it, so I'm gonna hunt. And you can't fucking stab me! Well, you could, but you'd have to waste a turn to stop me. Ha ha ha! That's where they get you. Those bastards. It's like they know. So, let's just go ahead and assign more dudes to the silicoids. Do you have any text that I don't have that I might want? You have spaceport. And you have some missiles and torpedoes I'd like to get my hands on. And I don't mind about pissing you off, so let's continue. Research agreement? What about a non-aggression pact? Offer us tractor beam. You know what, sure. If you break the non-aggression pact, though, that's all on you. It's not my fault. I gave you stuff. We can be friends. I don't mind being friends. Hey. Maybe you have something that I want. Of course you have something that I want. Atmospheric renewer. Crap, I'd have to re-micro my, my stuff. <laughs> That is a uh, really strong, uh, that's like a really convincing argument. Ooh, nano disassemblers. Doubles the number of production units a planet can produce before any pollution is created. I like that. Ooh, I like this too. Microlight construction sounds pretty simple for me, and I don't think that's on my tech tree. 
<laughs> yeah. Cylons would really love that auto lab if I wouldn't mind sparing it for them. They'd totally be cool with that. They'd give me anything I want. Anything. <laughs> what about this? Armor barracks? Sure. Troop pods? Uh. No. Nah. Don't need the armor. That's fine. Sakura, do you have any goodies for me that you would like to trade? That I wouldn't have to give up my, uh, my auto labs for? Nothing that I want. Okay. That's fine. Again, I have a colony ship here, and I don't remember how long it's been sitting there. But I'm sure I speed purchased it at some point, and I feel kind of silly now. Uh, well, not exactly the best planet, but, you know, hey, it prevents the AI from getting back there just to annoy me. I'm sure they'd love to do that at some point. I mean, those are the Cylons over there. Nope, no alliance. This is looking like another situation, though, where I will win with a diplomatic vote, unless I decide to roll over the entire galaxy, which I might do so. We don't have to repeat the whole diplomatic thing. As I'd feel kind of bad. Um. Okay, housing. That's all we can do here. Glad I solved that in my brain. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a conundrum for me. How many more planets do I know that I can colonize? Okay. Ooh. Hey. Hey now, hey now, hey. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey. You totally need to have a colony base added down there at the bottom of everything. Totally need one of those. Let us snag automated repair units now and moving right along to robotic factory. Let's go ahead and colonize this. Okay. Automated factory, pollution processor, gravity generator, Derek's research lab, auto lab. This planet's not radiated. No, it must be. No, it could just be toxic. So I can't terraform it. Well, that's fine. How about you just consult me after all that stuff's done, then? Yep, you're a tiny toxic. And next we will colonize small radiated rich or large radiated abundant. Let's go ahead and colonize this one. Automated factory. Uh um crap, lost my train of thought. Pollution processor. Uh marine barracks, research lab, auto lab, radiation shield, robo miner plant. I guess I'll stick that in there. Sweet! You gained another level! We're pretty much done terraforming here. Houses. Tons of houses. Houses for everyone. Get to making with the babies now. No! Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's ship him back. <laughs> Send you guys over there and move them over there. Excellent. I still have excess food. Although that will eventually change. Cybrixia will not be able to feed everyone. But they're doing a good job. Damn it. They're doing a good job. Meanwhile, I'm continuing to bank cash. Right. You guys. Add a colony base there. So that planet will eventually be colonized. Now, what else? That will get a colony. And Ishii will eventually get a colony, I think? Is that in the works here? It will be now. 
Oh man, what somber music here that we have. Terrible. I'll keep them there. You can't trust the Cylons. That's something I've learned in my game playing experience. Never trust the Cylons. Nope. Okay. No, Cylons. They look forward to betraying you whenever they can. I've noticed it. They're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, they're totally pacifistic. You don't have to worry about them. They tech the entire tree. Tech tree, and they're like, ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. We bones owes you! And you're like, God damn it, Cylons! I knew you were gonna do that! And I still wasn't prepared! Core waste dumps, which will completely eliminate the need for, uh, pollution processors. Or any of those other pollution reducing things. That would be very nice. Aw, oh, crap, this is text music. As in, they say stuff. Stop saying stuff in the background. I forbid it. You are not allowed to speak. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> ah, screw it. It'll be fine. Actually, no. That won't be fine. Okay. The text music has stopped. And we've come to the final song of the album. Alas. I guess I'll just keep looping the thing. And I think my ability to rely on my core planets has officially gone out the window. Crap. Well, I guess I'll have to use Advanced Bin 2nd Edition there. Bin, you must feed my people. If you do a good job, I will let you live, Bin. Failure is not an option. Well, I guess it is an option. You might die, but it's an option. Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah, you know. Stuff happens. Galactic News Network. Your empire now spans 17 star systems, outnumbering all the other empires. Great. I have no problem with that. It appears that a new star over here was colonized. That's cool. That's the... Oh, man. I just noticed that. The soccer have been clubbing the fuck out of the silicoids. Very nice. Very nice. I, of course, of course, wholeheartedly approve of this. Now, if I build four colony ships, although those are all poor and ultra poor planets, but I mean, if I don't, if I don't get them, just think of the terrible people who might get them instead be horrible. Go ahead and take care of that for me then. Please. Thank you. And you don't have to farm there anymore, because new folks, they'll start farming automatically. It'll be okay. What's the instructor thing do? Increases experience points by three per turn for all ships. Medicine increases the population growth rate of all plants in the system. Okay, I don't think he's as good as he could be due to the fact that, um, well, he has spiritual and I don't have morale, but you know, I like the idea of the whole medicine thing here. I might not, I know I might not put him on a planet though. Oh, you finished building what you were supposed to build? Cool. Now, do some more of it. Robotic factories. Yes. I would like those. Now, let's check out the leaders here. And we need to get rid of somebody, so I'm gonna go ahead and sack you. I know, I've gotten rid of, uh, two of my three mega wealth people. But, that leaves an open spot there, and he can just sit there for all ships so they don't have to be in the same system. I don't even have to apply him anywhere, right? That's what that means, right? But just in case, I'll send him here. <laughs> the Leonidas! I know it's not, whatever. Anyway, I do think that takes care of this video, folks.
coming back, I will continue to expand across the galaxy. See you then.